Who is the most powerful person you know of? Football managers, past and present? Celebrities, however you define celebrity. Political leaders, whoever they may be. How powerful are these people? Football managers are often only as good as their last season. Celebrities can so quickly lose their fame. And political leaders can't please everyone. Or anyone sometimes, depending on your point of view. But there is one who is the most powerful person that ever existed. Do you know who it is? Yes. It's Jesus. But why is he the most powerful? In the Bible passage we're looking at today, Jesus asked his disciples, Who do you say that I am? The disciples' reply was this. Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. So far, so good. Simon Peter got that right. But Jesus is also asking us all this morning, younger and older members of our congregation, who do you say that I am? Do you believe Jesus is the most powerful person? Sometimes we can all find this difficult to believe. Do we think that he has power only on Sundays? Or do we think that he's not as powerful as all the bad things that we're facing? No, the power of Jesus is the greatest power that there is, because he is the Son of God, God himself. He doesn't ever lose this power. He is as powerful now as he was when he was speaking to Simon Peter over 2,000 years ago. Simon Peter did not understand this. He saw that Jesus had the power to heal, as was demonstrated in his giving sight to the blind man just outside the village of Bethsaida, as recounted in the events in our passage. But he didn't understand that the greatest demonstration of Jesus' power was going to die on the cross at Calvary. Never, Lord, he, Simon Peter, said, this shall never happen to you. But it's there at the cross that Jesus showed that he has the power to forgive sin when he died and rose from the dead. No one else can do that for us. So what is our greatest need at the moment? We have many pressing needs, but the most important one of all is the need of forgiveness for our sin, for the bad things we've done in our lives. As Michael will say later, let's not put Jesus in a box. Let's not think that he's smaller or less powerful than he is. Jesus is the Messiah. He has promised to forgive us. Who do you say that he is? Unlike anyone else, any of the stars or celebrities or leaders, Jesus never loses his power and will never be forgotten. That's the power of the cross. Now let's sing about that.